the history of Jewish communities across Central and Eastern Europe is rich and varied, stretching back millennia. An estimated 8,000 Jewish burial sites in the region attest to this heritage. Each cemetery has a community behind it, each with its unique story, but one feature shared by all is a tremendous sense of loss. In a few short years, the Holocaust brought the long history of thousands of these communities to a cruel, abrupt end. Without their owners to safeguard and preserve them, these Jewish cemeteries have fallen into disrepair, and after 80 years of vandalism and neglect, many are at risk of disappearing entirely, bringing the last physical testament to these ancient communities with them. The ESJF European Jewish Cemeteries Initiative was set up in 2015 by Rabbi Isaac Shapira as an international non-profit registered in the Federal Republic of Germany with the core objective of preserving this legacy. By focusing on the burial sites in the thousands of towns and villages across Europe where Jewish communities were wiped out during the Holocaust, we have been able to identify and intervene at the cemeteries most at risk of disappearance. As of now, the ESJF has demarcated and fenced more than 230 Jewish cemeteries around Europe, thanks to annual support from the government of the Federal Republic of Germany and private donors. Between 2019 and 2021, with funding from the European Union, the ESJF surveyed and mapped some 3,500 Jewish cemeteries across nine European countries, including Poland, Ukraine, Slovakia, Hungary, Lithuania, Croatia, Georgia, Moldova, and Greece, using cutting-edge drone technology. Our surveys revealed that 65% of the identified and localized cemeteries survived with at least one in-situ tombstone. In 35% of cases, all tombstones were destroyed. However, preserving Jewish cemeteries is not just about the fence and tombstones. It's also about what's underground. We identified that while 17% of Jewish cemeteries have been overbuilt and lost, 18% were demolished but not overbuilt, meaning that there is a chance that the burial still could be preserved and thus require protection. In other words, 44% of Jewish cemeteries in Central and Eastern Europe require urgent protection. Out of the countries surveyed, the percentage of destroyed Jewish cemeteries without any tombstones in situ remaining varied from around 10% in Slovakia to 55% in Poland. This is a result of several factors, such as different policies towards destruction of Jewish communities by Nazi authorities, the decisions and policies of Soviet or pro-Soviet administrators in the post-war period, the presence of the Jewish population and communities, as well as the general level of anti-Semitism in the region. Consequently, Jewish cemeteries are still under threat of destruction due to the devastating impact of the past. The main reasons for this are In many small towns and villages, there are no longer any Jewish communities that are able to protect and maintain Jewish cemeteries. After decades of abandonment, these burial sites have decayed over time. State programs for the protection of Jewish cemeteries as historical and cultural monuments are non-existent or limited. Vandalism and theft of tombstones therefore remains a common practice, as well as unauthorized seizure of land by neighbors and use for household needs. Finally, in some countries, a significant part of Jewish cemeteries is not included in the land cadastral register as cemeteries. The privatization of land and its further sale and development is therefore possible. So, what impact can this have on Jewish cemeteries today if we don't protect them? Jewish cemeteries that do not have the legal status of a cemetery can be developed by the state or sold to private individuals and used for development. Private houses, enterprises, public and commercial establishments can therefore be built on these grounds. Jewish cemeteries that do not have clear physical boundaries can be illegally used for private agriculture, including fruit and vegetable gardens, orchards, fields or pastures. Abandoned cemeteries with neither ongoing maintenance nor physical fencing often become a source of stone for construction or other household needs of local residents. Intentional acts of vandalism associated with anti-Semitism are most often expressed through damage of tombstones and graffiti. 
sometimes grave digging takes place, usually in the search of gold teeth or anything of value that can be sold. Finally, when the area of abandoned and undemarcated Jewish cemeteries adjoins a Christian cemetery, the expanding Christian cemetery may absorb the Jewish section. This happens both illegally and with the permission of local authorities. The mission to preserve all the Jewish cemeteries of Europe therefore remains vast and urgent and cannot be carried out by the ESJF alone. As such, it is vital not only to fence and map the sites, but also to identify methodologies for protecting the cemeteries we cannot yet fence. Our first task, however, is always to establish the fact of a Jewish cemetery, not only in the historical record, but as a physical existence on site. By demarcating the historical boundaries of the cemetery, we assert its sanctity and the need to preserve it, free from desecration or destruction. The physical demarcation, which we call fencing, is so much more than whether the fence is stone, concrete, wood or metal. The site now returns to its initial purpose, a place of sanctity and of memory, and a record not only of centuries of Jewish community life, but also of the destruction of these communities in the Shoah. The ESJF seeks to fence and protect as many sites as possible by utilising our resources in the most efficient ways, ensuring swift construction of the fencing and abiding by the strictest halakhic and engineering standards. Alongside fencing, we also work closely with teachers and students, as well as local historians, librarians and museum workers. Through our educational outreach programmes, participants learn about the history of their local Jewish community through Jewish cemeteries as a historical source. In our course for engineering and architecture students, we teach about how drone technology can be used in heritage preservation. Teacher training also takes place to help educators incorporate the study of Jewish cemeteries into the classroom. Outside of our seminars, we have designed special manuals on a variety of topics and in several languages to make knowledge on Jewish heritage accessible to all. Through this, we aim to provide a wider view of Jewish contributions to local history and heritage and to emphasize the values of a multicultural society based on tolerance and opposed to racism, xenophobia and anti-Semitism. The results of these programs are a key component in building a sustainable future and ensuring the long-term protection of Jewish cemeteries. Moreover, we have also developed close partnerships with Jewish communities, municipal authorities, activists, Jewish heritage NGOs and educational institutions who support us in every aspect of our work, such as the logistics of our survey trips and fencing projects, the organisation of rededication ceremonies, educational events, general upkeep of burial sites, as well as the combating of legal issues faced in relation to cemetery ownership. It's necessary to have dedicated allies across Central and Eastern Europe that are active in the regions where no Jewish community exists today or where it is difficult for the existing small Jewish communities to provide adequate long-term care and maintenance for Jewish heritage sites, thus making them especially endangered. Without these allies, Jewish cemetery preservation efforts cannot be permanent. It is incumbent on the living to care for the final resting place of those who came before them. Thanks to the ESJF's efforts, we have in many cases been able to preserve the last physical testament to the Jewish community, such as the Sokolta Jewish Cemetery in Slovakia, who lost the majority of its Jewish community to extermination camps in Poland in 1942. However, as deterioration advances fast, causing Jewish cemeteries to disappear entirely, preservation work is more urgent than ever before. Moving forward, alongside completing survey work in the countries and regions we have not yet visited, we aspire to strengthen support in areas where we have previously worked, in line with our mission to fence as many abandoned Jewish cemeteries as possible. As such, over the next years, we have plans to protect the sanctity of Jewish burial sites in Poland, Hungary, Slovakia, Croatia, Georgia, Ukraine, as well as many other countries where we have already completed rabbinical surveys. It is our hope that through our united efforts, we can establish a sustainable intervention framework 
ensuring the long-term protection of all of the Jewish cemeteries in Europe.